The Innova Destroyer is the most influential driver that has ever been designed in the sport of disc golf. Every brand has eventually come out with their own version of this coveted mold. We've seen many iterations of it over the years. We've seen the football stamped run, the original fundraiser run, then we saw the proto stamp, then we saw the PFN, then we saw the PFN EcoStar, Avery Jenkins destroyers, Paul Macbeth destroyers. And now we have come to this point where we have the new run of Halo Destroyer. And what really excites me about the new run, they feel a little bit grippier than I remember. We have a little bit of a blizzardy type plastic around the rim. Kind of reminds me of the old Innova made Blizzard PD2s that were also in the same kind of weight range. And then we also have a max weight one that does not have the blizzard action in the rim. So I'll get to show you guys how both of them fly, but let's take a nice close look at these things. We got like a double halo. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. Go get yours over at Power Grip USA. Use my discount code iceberg10 to save 10% on your order and all orders over $70 ship for free. So we got the Pend 163 and we got the Pend 175. They do the 173 to 175 because they weigh them in batches. Um, but I bet this one's 175 and I'm pretty confident this one's 163. I can feel the difference in my hand. But let's see how these things fly. Some Halo Destroyers are like unthrowably overstable for me, but these are a little gummier, a little lower parting line than some Destroyers I've thrown. I think they're going to be just distance bombers. And again, I, I'm a noodle arm. I don't really get destroyers to flip up. Maybe you guys do. My, if I throw my 25-year-old uh, Proto Destroyer, I get it to flip up. But a new Halo Destroyer, I got, I got to give it everything I got for it to flip even a little. Oh, there's the flip. Okay, that thing landed on the golf green and it, and it hit the tree. So I think that thing was going to push like... 420 to 450 range. The other one came up pretty short, pretty overstable. Let's go grab them. We'll throw them back. I'm pretty excited about this run. I'll be totally honest with you. Let's see how these things fly in a forehand line. Please judge me in the comment section down below. I've not been throwing a lot of forehands lately. Just trying to dial in the backhand. You guys know how it goes. First throw, Halo, forehand destroyer. <laughs> oh, it's a beef dog. Off the walking path, out for blood. Let's see how the 163 goes. I'm gonna throw a little bit flatter. Hopefully it stays on turn for just a touch longer. That wasn't necessarily completely, dude, that thing goes. As far as the feel in hand with these, they're a little bit grippier and pliable, um, for me at least, than most star plastics. Most star plastics are usually a little bit stiffer. These feel really nice. If you like that, just, just like a classy amount of stickiness to it. This is absolute money. These feel awesome. Innova absolutely nailed these. And I don't know if they have a lot of them like this, but the triple halo is absolutely gorgeous. Let's throw the max weight on a flex line and then we'll throw the light one. Oh, there it is. That's what it looks like when you throw a destroyer, but you don't have the arm for a destroyer. If you throw it like that, that's how you know that you fall into that category. If you have to flex them like that to get them to fly right. All right, let's do the same thing with the 163. Oh, that is smashed. Dude, those things absolutely crush. I think we're going to see a lot of players bagging these new Halo Destroyers. They feel great, they fly nice and overstable, but they aren't so overstable to where they don't still go far. All right, last two throws of the day, brand new Innova Halo Destroyer. They just have that really nice low parting line destroyer feel that I'm a huge fan of. Any destroyer with a higher parting line is just so overstable, I just don't simply have the arm for it. You need a throw. 70 mile an hour, miles an hour plus to get those to fly at all. These are like the perfect noodle arm guy destroyer or max distance bomber destroyer for those of you with the super fast arms. Like that hyzer line, 
is never going to deviate off of a hyzer. You can 100% trust the max weight ones. And I think you can trust the lightweight ones as well. But let's give this one last flex line. That, that flex line was super fun, so let's do it again. Ugh. Come on, don't hit the tree. Oh no, direct hit. I blasted that thing into next Thursday. New Halo Destroyer from Innova. Go get yours over at Power Grip USA. Use my code ICEBERG10. It'll save you 10%. You can also qualify for free shipping by spending $70 or more. I'll see you guys in the next video. I really appreciate all of you guys who watch my channel. Road to 20K subscribers. We're really, really close. Gonna try and do something big for 20K and you're not gonna wanna miss it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and take care.